Hey, what's up, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that everyone is having a great day, and thank you for joining me for your daily dose of Star Wars. Luke Skywalker is physically returning to the fold in The Last Jedi, and is not just the plot of the film like he was in The Force Awakens. This being the case, there's been a lot of speculation over what Luke is going to do in The Last Jedi. Is he the same Luke we remember from the original trilogy? Will we see him use his iconic green lightsaber? Did he turn to the dark side? Is he Rey's father? All of these questions we want to know the answer to, and while we have an idea of some of these answers, who better than to give us a real look at Luke's state of mind than Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill sat down with Disney Insider and he talked about Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi in a formal interview setting. This is not him messing with us on Twitter, posting Luke and Ray similarities. This is a real interview, so let's see what he has to say. Has Luke's character changed over the years? Actually, I don't think Luke's fundamental personality has changed, except that he is older and his life experiences have shaped his outlook the same way they do for all of us. Mark's answer here makes a lot of sense. Luke is older and his experience have shaped his outlook on life, as it does for all of us as we get older. And the only reason we think it's so drastic, and he's not the same Luke we remember, is because there's a 30 year live action gap that we haven't seen that tells Luke's story and his journey, and we just aren't privy to it yet. Luke has been described as dark in this film. Would you agree? In Star Wars The Force Awakens, Luke has lost his confidence in his ability to make good choices. It haunts him to the core, but he hasn't gone to the dark side. This isn't an evil version of him, but it's still an incarnation of the character I never expected. And it's pulled me out of my comfort zone. It's a real challenge. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Luke hasn't gone to the dark side and it's not an evil version of him in The Last Jedi. I hope the dark side Luke rumors can now be put to rest. In the trailers, we hear Luke say, it's time for the Jedi to end. What was your reaction when you first read that line in the script? I'm sure this line is a great shock to the audience, so you can imagine how I felt. This is a huge change for a character who once represented optimism and hope. It's a radical decision to drop out of everything he's ever believed in. The entire movie is filled with these kinds of jaw-dropping surprises, but you'll have to see the film itself to discover what they are. Like Mark said earlier, Luke has lost his confidence to make good decisions. It doesn't mean he can't make good decisions, it just means he's unsure of himself in his decision-making process. These surprises are certainly going to be related to that with the character that we see on screen and the new outlook that he's been presented with. What has it been like to work with Ryan Johnson, the film's director? I couldn't have done this without Ryan. The Star Wars saga is a huge responsibility. There was one day when Ryan and I were meeting and I told him, this is so high profile, I have to admit I'm terrified. He looked at me and said, I am too. Ryan is so gifted. I am very grateful to have had the opportunity to work with him. I couldn't have done this role without his judgment and input. I believe in him. I believe in his judgment completely. Every step of the way, I let him be my guru. If he's happy with the scene, then I'm happy. This is great for Mark to say because he said before that when he initially read the script for the movie, he was shocked that he saw his character take such a turn from what we all knew about Luke and the type of person that he was. I can't wait to see The Last Jedi, not only because of Luke, but for the entire story in general. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. Everything we've seen, every trailer, I've loved it all, and I'm beyond ready for this movie to come out. I am literally bouncing off the walls excited. I just can't wait. Just letting everyone know we are so close to 10,000 subs on this channel, and when we hit that I have a giveaway in mind that's going to happen, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you're a daily coffee drinker and want to be one of the first to see a new video as soon as it goes live, hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device. Thank you guys for watching, as always, keep loving Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.